I purchased this RO water system on Amazon and I figured the installation process is not the most straightforward so I decided to document the installation to help others who might be installing the same system. A quick disclaimer here, I'm not affiliated with this brand in any way and I don't receive any money from them. It's just that I feel there's a need for a installation guide and therefore this video. So here we go. Before the installation, make sure you have enough space under your sink. The package comes with the following items. There's an overview picture, a manual, the registration card, a tank, a system head. There's a three uh, filter with the housings, a faucet package, a couple of ranges and color tubing and some kits. The installation overview is shown on this nice card where it shows uh, which line connects to where. During the whole installation, we refer to this picture repeatedly. Locate the three filter housings and the corresponding filters. Uh, notice that the filters are different. The first one is a sediment filter and the second and third one are carbon filters. And be sure to remove the plastic wrap from each filter before placing it into the housing. Also, check that the O-ring is properly uh, in place before tightening the uh, housing onto the main system head. Start by hand tightening the housing, then use a wrench to uh, tighten it fully. Clear out the space under the sink and then prepare a cloth in case any water leaks out during the installation process. The feed water line needs to connect to uh, the cold water, so you want to locate where the cold water pipe is. Uh, you can do so by simply turn on the hot water and use your hand to touch the two pipes under the sink, then you'll know which one is the cold water. To uh, install the feed water adapter, first by turning off the cold water valve by turning it clockwise fully. Next, assemble the feed water adapter. The adapter kit includes uh, two configurations, uh, 3 8 inch and half inch configuration. Uh, they uh, fit different pipe sizes. If you know your pipe size, then go ahead and assemble uh, accordingly. Uh, otherwise, if you're like me, simply shut off the water, disconnect the water line, and try to fit the adapter kit to determine what the size is. You can pre-install the needle valve to the adapter main body before assembling the whole thing to the water pipe. However, for my case, I realized there was not enough space if I installed that way. So I had to install the main body first and before I assemble the needle valve. The next step is to install the drain saddle. This is the piping where the water drains to the sewer system. And so you want to locate the drain pipe first and find a proper location to drill a hole for installing the uh, drain saddle. The idea is that you want to pick a location that is higher than the uh, water trap portion of the pipe. Once you locate that uh, position, then 
you can drill a quarter inch hole and uh, install the drain settle uh, like shown in the picture. For my case, after testing fit the drain settle kit to the vertical pipe, there's not enough space for it. The horizontal pipe is of different size than the kit. I don't want to change the existing piping configuration. So I came up with the idea to grind off some part of the drain saddle kit housing. And that way I can successfully install the drain saddle kit on the vertical pipe. To install the drain saddle, use a quarter inch drill bit to drill a hole in the pipe. Attach the black sponge patch to the pipe. Make sure you align the hole of the patch with the hole you just drilled. Next, secure the fitting to the pipe by using a screwdriver to keep the holes aligned. Then tighten up the bolts and nuts with the housing. Once the saddle is installed, connect the blood drain line to it. To connect line to the saddle, simply insert the black tubing into the hole. Uh, make sure you insert deep enough. Uh, you can try to pull it, uh, it should be self lock in place. The next step is to install the faucet. Uh, first you want to drill a hole in the countertop if needed. If there's an existing hole, for example, the one for spray holes or soap dispenser, you can use them. The size of the hole has to be between half inch and one inch in diameter. I began with a smaller pilot hole to confirm the location before moving to a half inch bit for the final hole. Once you are sure of the placement of the hole, proceed with the uh, half inch bit. Take your time to drill the hole. It took me about 10 minutes to drill it through. Make sure you wear a respirator during the process. The dust can be pretty nasty. Uh, depending on the material of your countertop, you may want to choose a carbide drill bit. For my case, I just used a steel spade drill bit. Uh, it took longer, but it was fine for me. One important step that is missed uh, on the manual is that check with your wife if she's okay with the location of the hole. Otherwise, there may be serious consequence. Don't ask how I know. Once the hole is drilled, uh, you can proceed to install the faucet. And the way the faucet is installed is that there's a faucet body and the faucet base that's on the top and on the bottom there's a, like a washer and a lock washer and the lock nut and basically these two things sandwich the countertop in between just follow along with the video Once the faucet is installed, you are pretty close to the end. The next step is to install the tank valve. Use Teflon tape to wrap around the valve a few rounds and then hand tight followed by the wrench tighten it. Similar to previous step, uh, 
insert the yellow tubing into the tank valve uh, insert as deep as possible and try to pull it it should be self-locking before connecting all the water lines uh, there's an end plug that need to be removed i think there are three places that need to be removed There are several water lines that need to be connected. There's the water line between the faucet and the main system head. There's also the water line between the tank and the system head. The water line between the main system and the feed water adapter. On the feed water adapter end is a little bit tricky. You have to install all the necessary parts before connection. Um, put this in, and then the thing, and then don't forget there's an insert. Insert will stop the tube from falling. Okay. Quite important. There's the tubing between the drain saddle to the main system. This part should have already been installed in the previous step. You just have to make sure it's secure. So once everything is installed and connected, this is the last step to check uh, by turning on the water and the needle valve and make sure if there's a, any leak. Here, the water is flowing. For my case, there was indeed a leak. It turns out I didn't uh, tighten up the filter housing uh, enough, so then I have to do so. Once I done that, everything was fine. I just have to wait uh, until the water fill out the tank and then drain out the first tank before I use it. And that's it. That's all the installation. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.